Okay, so it's been a while since I have updated our progress. Um, we just finished nothing at all. And that's kind of a funny thing. We just finished nothing at all. But actually, um, we recorded a song called Nothing At All. And it's a very meditative song um, that we did with the Red Top Medusa Project. And way back in um, 2007, 2006, I started this. And it was, uh, I took a flash course at PSU. And what I did is, I, of course, me being who I am, I, uh, I bit off way more than I could chew. And I had this gigantic vision for a music video for a flat, for this, like, first time flash course that I took. Um, and so I started it. And I did it to the best of my ability at that time. Well, there's been a lot of iterations of nothing at all, the music video. Um, and I, I just, we had just recorded this song, we had just written this song when I first did this. And so um, it was still pretty fresh, and I was still pretty excited about it. And it, actually, I, I'm still pretty excited about it, even to this day, because it was a great song. But what happened was, uh, you know, life kind of happened, right? Um, I went to grad school. And in grad school, uh, that type of work was not considered acceptable. It wasn't good enough. Um, what they were looking for in grad school was definitely art, and the type of work I had been doing was um, was artistic, but not art. And so um, I dropped it for a while. But, you know, in, in the true Portly Pig Studios uh, way, <laughs> I just kept chipping away at it. Chip, 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 chip. Um, and so during grad school, um, we shot a stop motion sequence for it. I built a puppet um, that looked like the Flash puppet and uh, <laughs> he was a pretty cute little guy and I really I really didn't know anything about building puppets at that point. Um, he wasn't the first puppet I attempted to build but he was definitely the first wireframe puppet I attempted to build and there was a lot um, <laughs> a lot of uh, beginner mistakes um, I made. First of all, he was way too heavy. Um, second of all, I used gigantic wire. Um, all these things, right? Uh, Greg did a great job animating a less than perfect puppet. Um, that's for sure. And uh, we, 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 we shot this film and I had this idea for this, you know, stop motion s uh, sequence that went along with the flash sequence and that they went, they would merge together sort of. Well, they didn't ever merge, merge together, but they would they were juxtaposed to each other, and so they were supposed to play off of one another. All right, and so <laughs> we did that. And then, you know, I had to pass my, you know, I had to graduate. And so it was put on the back burner then again, right? And so it's had several reiterations. And before that even, my brother went through and, like, re-recorded the song to the same you know, he re-recorded re the song entirely in his voice. So, I mean, it's been re-recorded and redone many times. Um, finally, um, you know, and it's been on my to-do list for years, literally. I've had this on my to-do list for years. It's hilarious. Um, I don't even... I, <laughs> you know, I, at one point I was like, am I going to finish this? What's going on with me? Because, you know, I usually I do my best to finish all work that I start. And, you know, it, it, it's such a, a flash from the past, so to speak, too, right? So it's been on my, my, uh, my to-do list for years, way at the bottom, because I've always had all these crazy things to do. Well, finally, this month, I just decided that, you know what? I'm going to get this done. I'm going to do it. <laughs> I'm going to do it by the end of this month. <laughs> <laughs> and so I, I just started working on it every single day. Um, and, you know, it finally it finally be came to fruition. It finally became what I envisioned it to become way back, you know, in 2006 when I took the flash class <laughs> years ago. And while the stop motion sequence um, is, you know, is really well animated, particularly um, because of the puppet that was used. Um, well, the stop motion sequence is, is good, very good. The puppet is less than ideal. And so I feel like I'm kind of past, um, I'm kind of past this point already. And, you know, it, it's no wonder people don't finish their past work because it's a moment in time. 
and that's where you were at that moment in time. And, you know, it, it's hard to kind of go back and go back to where you were and be in that mindset of where you were at that moment in time because it was that section, that moment, that's what made it magical. Um, you know, my reasons for insisting on finishing it are a couple of reasons. One, it's to kind of document how far I've come as far as animating and creating puppets and doing all this stuff. Another reason um, is because, you know, it would just get lost. And that moment in time, that very important moment in time that shows where I was in that moment, it would just be gone. And I wouldn't have anything to show for it, which, I mean, is okay, but I'm, I'm very document, a very documenting type of person. I like to have, like, my documented stuff. Um, so it, it shows kind of a linear progression. Um, you know, so now it's out, and I'm very excited about it. Um, it's super cute. It's really the first um, uh, music video I started on. Um, we have Destroyer coming out soon-ish, <laughs> I think. Um, all we have to do is edit it together. It's totally in the can. And that one is beautiful. Like, I think it's beautiful. Um, uh, the sets were beautiful. Um, and the puppets were beautiful. So... We just got to get it out. We also just finished uh, our clip for Star Wars Uncut, which was, um, you know, uh, uh, we were exploring the paper 2D puppets again. And it was a lot of fun. It was only three characters, and we had a really good time kind of putting it together. Uh, we did lip syncing. You should see the mouths on those things. They're teeny tiny. Uh, my animator had to use tweezers. He just picked up those tiny mouths with tweezers and stuck them on. So for doing lip syncing, it was a lot. Um, it was a lot of work. And actually, I thought we were going to lose all the mouths. I thought somebody was going to sneeze and all the paper pieces were going to go everywhere. But you know, it didn't happen that way. It worked out. And uh, Kai Pfeiffer, Hairbrain Media, he did all of the sound. He did all the, um, you know, the, he did the, the the character acting. He had his wife do the voice of the women characters. Um, Star Wars and Cuts called Yoda Surprise for a reason. The, I mean, the the clip we did is called Yoda Surprise for a reason. <laughs> so it's pretty cute. Um, yeah, you know, not a whole, I mean, actually a whole lot has been going on with Portly Pig Studios. Um, we've been finishing up a lot of stuff, which is really, feels really good. And, you know, for someone who's kind of a workaholic and kind of just goes on from one project to the next and chips away and just kind of, you know, keeps going no matter what, um, it, it's kind of, it's kind of exciting to finish projects, especially a long-term project that I've been meaning to get done for a long time. Um, and those those really give me, a, um, you know, a really good feeling. Um, I'm very, oh God, I'm, I'm just very happy to have these things accomplished. You know, you, you get these things out of the way so that you can kind of start on the next phase of your, your you know, your creative process. If these things, if they get stuck and you get, like, focused on them, they're always there. They're, always, they're taking up energy. You know, they're kind of renting space in your creative consciousness. And so now that they're done, it's kind of like um, cleaning, cleaning up the house after a big, or cleaning up the studio after a big project. You've got to start fresh and new. And we have a lot of things coming, um, up and coming in the future. I'm very... I'm very excited about the things that I'm working on right now. And so to get those older things out of the way, um, it's just a, it's a really refreshing experience. And so, yeah, that's pretty much my update. Um, I guess I'll be uh, documenting my work. I'm doing what's, I'm, my, <laughs> my next big thing for making puppets is I'm going to work on um, the music video for Surrender. And that is... Um, I'm going to be creating some very special puppets for that, and they're very, uh, they're going to be very interesting, and I'm going to document my process with that, and I'm calling them a little homunculus. Um, basically, the difference between a golem and a homunculus is the size, right? So, you know, somebody would make a golem, and it was a giant puppet made of clay, and a homunculus would, not a puppet, a giant person made of clay or whatever, and a homunculus is a tiny, a perfect tiny person. Um, usually made of clay. And so um, basically I'm going to be making homunculus. And if they turn out really well, I'm going to put them up for sale um, because on my shop because I'll be making casts. So I'll be able to cast multiples of these, these puppets at once. Um, so I, I'm pretty excited about that. We'll see how it goes. I'm just starting out, and you know how these things are when you, you start out learning how to make certain types of puppets or different types of puppets. There's always a learning curve. So... Um, anyway, uh, I guess that's it for now. Thanks for, thanks for watching.